Got a nice thick pa uh, thin package in the mail today from U.S. Rally Stripes. What is it? You voted for it, so let's find out. Now what this is has something to do with what you guys and gals voted on and if you don't remember I'll put the video up there it's where you guys voted on whether to put the bow tie back on my car or not and you actually picked the carbon fiber one so naturally the back section of the car has a big bow tie on it too which now does not match the front the front's carbon fiber the rear is the original gold so I ordered something to try to remedy that. Let's get it open and I'll show you exactly what it is. Hopefully I don't mess anything up. I bought this off of eBay from a company called US Rally Stripes and I'll put the link to their eBay store below. They've got all kind of different colors, all kind of, you know, things to work with. Try to do this without messing anything up. I normally get very lucky. Okay, there we go. Yep can never leave home without a magic letter opener. Matter of fact, I keep it in my pocket at the house because you never know when you're going to need it. Let's see what we have here. Alright. How to install, right? Uh, a little paper asking me to leave feedback, which I always do because that's what we're supposed to do when we do anything on eBay. Let me get this opened up a little bit more. I've got it all the way open, but I don't want to mess anything up. So let's go down the sides and I can see what I'm doing. Boom! <laughs> Use the Home Depot box. Nice. Man, I'm glad I paid attention to what I was doing because it is stuck in the tape. Wow. Man, yeah, I found a company that has these sheets, right? I mean, they're all over eBay. You can type in um, vinyl wrap, vinyl decal overlay, bow tie overlay, whatever you want to call it. I found a company. I got two just in case I mess one up. And if I don't mess one up, I'm going to use it to put on the front of the Tahoe, which means I then now I have to order another pack. But they're cheap. I mean, two pieces under 10 bucks, 11 bucks, something like that with shipping. So that's not bad at all. So with all that said, now that we have it open, let's get out to the car and get it installed, right? Okay, it says put your car in the shaded area and be sure the surface is cool. Of course, clean the surface of all dirt and oil. Any dirt will be a bump in the decal. Remove any wax on surface with alcohol, okay. Mix half teaspoon of Dove or other non-detergent soap with one bottle of water. I recommend Baby Johnson shampoo. Keep area wet with solution. In other words, spray the bow tie down really good. Put mixture in a spray bottle, right? Spray area that the decal is being applied. Use plenty of solution. Here, it will make life easier. Peel off the backing of the decal. Spray the mixture directly on the decal. So it's like the old 3M adhesive spray for, you know, uh, like the glue where you spray the part and then you spray what you're putting it on. That way it helps it stick. Yeah. Use a squeegee to remove bubbles. Use heat gun if needed for total fixation. After drying, if there are any bubbles left, use a pin to pop the bubbles. When sunlight dries decals, some smaller bubbles will go away. Note, the material has air channels to release any air bubbles. If you have confidence, can be installed dry because of size. Just put the decal with a with space less than 1 8 inch from edges and then use squeegee that way you can skip four to nine in other words if you feel really confident and you're really good you put it on dry and then just squeegee out the air bubbles if you're not confident and you might need to move the decal around a little bit use the water and soap i strongly recommend using these soap and water because that stuff sticks quick and then you have to pull it and stretch it use the soap and water a lot it'll save your life a lot of trouble all right here we go Back of this car is really filthy and dirty. So what I'm gonna do is I got my rubbing alcohol. 
I'm gonna spray it down really good. Wipe it off, right? Like you're supposed to. Got our old utilitarian microfiber towel. Wipe it off really good. Then I'm gonna spray it again. And wipe it off again. We want this thing as clean as we can get it, right? So there's that. Now we're just gonna look. As you can see, this has plenty of room to go on this. So I've got my soap and water solution mixed up. We're gonna get it ready to go. Prime the sprayer, get it set on spray. All right. And you're gonna need a razor knife so that when all this is done, you can trim off your excess. So we're gonna spray that down liberally. Gonna peel the backing off of the decal. Peel the backing off, all right? Like the instructions say, spray it down with the soap and water, right? Put it on there. And you can use a squeegee or you can just use a microfiber towel, whatever you want, and just work all the soap out of it. Now, if you wet it down too much, it's going to take a few seconds for you to get all the soap out from behind it. So you just keep working it, going from the center to the end, right? From the center up. And eventually all that soap will be gone. Just keep working it out from the middle until you get all the, all the excess water out of it and everything. And then it'll start taking shape. I hope you can see that. You can actually take your fingernail and rub it. And that will tell you exactly where your shape is that you want to cut. Because yes, you have to do some cutting on this. Got to give you your shape. And then you can work it out even more afterwards. Take a razor blade and carefully trim along that line you don't have to press down hard just a light pressure will suffice then once you think you have it done, just use your fingernail and push down as you pull when you get to any edges so you don't pull your product off, right? Just like so. Keep going around it until you get all of it cut off. And like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and actually put it back on the paper. Because there is enough left here to do another project with. Then you just take your microfiber towel. And wipe it off. And once you feel you've got all the water out of it. Just let it set and we are done but of course i'm not going to leave this like this i'm going to clean it up just a bit but man what a difference this makes and it only took my god 10 minutes and five minutes of that was getting everything ready to do it <laughs> but i strongly suggest you just going around it and working it from the middle out and that will help get any air or leftover water that is behind your decal out and with this being a flat decal i mean a flat emblem you could i could have just stuck it on there and done it dry but i wanted to show you the best way for you to do it 
being a novice and stuff because I've done stuff like this before but if it was a rounded bow tie like the front one the soap and water would be definitely the way to go but just look at what a difference that makes but look at how much different that makes the back of the car look having that bow tie on there like that now it matches the front this makes a world of difference now the sun's coming out and it will help dry this and i'll come back out after a while and go over it make sure there's no air bubbles or anything but that's all there is to it it's something this simple and like i said it only took 10 minutes and five of that was getting stuff ready to do it with but look at what a difference that made to the back of this car man just such a difference i can't believe it and it, it just makes the car that much much more personable to you yeah i could have done it in red carbon fiber or something like that to match the car but you know with this being black and everything back here in the days for those that don't know they used to put this stripe on here it was actually painted on the car and back in the day but this signified to anybody that was behind you that this was a big block car which this is not but it has more power than the, the, the big blocks did back in the day but that's what this used to signify on the, on the older camaras if you saw this on there then you knew that, that car had a big block and you need to leave that joker alone so what i'm saying it's so simple so cheap get out there and do it yourself like i said you get it in any color you can get it in red you can get it in gold you can get it in white black carbon fiber whatever you want if they don't have it listed ask them they'll, they'll hook you up it might cost you a dollar or two more but they'll hook you up i promise and just look what a difference that made holy moly i love it get out there and enjoy your cars i'm enjoying mine didn't make the car show today because it rained this morning. I knew it wasn't a lot of people going to drive in the rain. So I decided to do this. And man, I'm glad I did. What a difference. So get out there and enjoy yours. We'll see you next one. Thanks for watching.